What's going on YouTubers? Gadang775. I'm back with another video and today I'm doing some benchmarks on my Asus G11 CD computer. This is my main PC that I use on a daily basis. I render all my videos and edit all my videos on this machine for the most part. Most of the, and sometimes I use my laptops. And this is my main gaming PC even though I don't game on it as much as I, I'd like to. I game about 1-2 to two hours a day on it which is not much compared to other PC gamers but I am a console gamer for life so my majority of gaming is on my console. Consoles I should say plural because I got multiple consoles. But um, let's get started shall we. First thing I ran Cortem. Okay this um, Cortem is a basically free software. And this is just going to give you a general idea of how hot um, your, the thermals of your PC. And when it was an idle, it was running on average of 20 to 22 degrees Celsius, which is pretty good. You know, standard and decent. Now, under load, um, when I was doing 4K rendering and I had multi multiple background applications open, including YouTube videos playing, it jumped up to an average of 67 degrees Celsius. Which is also still pretty good. And keep in mind, my i7-6700 processor is the locked version. It's not the unlocked. It does not have the K. So it has a stock Intel cooler, which does fine. So um, let's see. I also did a Nova Bench score. Nova Bench is basically an all-in-one um, benchmark software that gives you a general score. And you can compare that score with other PCs online. So I've got a 2023, 2030, uh, I, I forgot the number. I'll go ahead and check it. But um, I got a score of 2000, which is decent to average. I mean, I compared my score to online to other people, PCs, and mine is like more on the, the mid to lower end. Uh, what can I expect? It's my, my card is starting to get outdated, but it's still decent for what it is. Uh, GTX 970 graphics card. Then I went ahead and ran U Unigine, Heaven's benchmark software. So I was running the Heaven software. I ran it on 1920 by 1080p first, eight times anti-aliasing, on ultra settings, and I got an average FPS of about 66 frames per second, which is solid for the GTX 970. And 1920 by 1080p, that's a solid game, um, solid gameplay, especially in ultra settings. Then I ran it again, what I thought was at 2560 by 1440p, but it was actually a lower resolution of 2048 by 1536 with eight times anti-aliasing and ultra settings. And I got a score of 42.3 FPS, which is still, you know, still decent, very much playable compared to, you know, console games where console games dip below 30 frames per second. Okay. Um, now I went ahead and tested it, tested it on a AAA game, and Gears of War 4 is the only AAA game I have on my PC so far. I have Black Desert Online, and I have Secret World, but I wanted to run something more, you know, more mainstream. So, for some reason, I couldn't get Gears of War 4 to run past 30 FPS. After a little while, I figured out how to run Gears of War 4, 60 frames per second. And I did the test, and I got an average of about 59, 60 frames per second on 1920 by 1080p on ultra settings, which is decent. It's almost pretty much a solid 50, 60 frames per second, but it does occasionally dip down into the low 50s, even down to 50 frames per second, which is kind of surprising. But it's ultra settings, so um, I can I expect some of that. But keep in mind, my graphics card is starting to get dated. It's GTX 970. Now, um, let's see what else. And for a laugh, <laughs> for a laugh, I ran it on 4K, 3820 by 2160. I ran it on 4K with predictable results. I got F, um, frames per second dipping as low as 9 frames per second, which averaged around 14 frames per second. And it was pretty horrible. It was a lot of stuttering and whatnot. Basically, old school Xbox 360 and PS3 games. So, yeah. <laughs> So us console gamers, we're used to that. We can play games like that, you know, us console gamers, you know. <laughs> but yeah, that was my quick benchmark of my Asus G11 CD. Um, it's not really a really technical, thorough benchmark like a lot of other YouTubers. But then again, just keep in mind, I'm a console gamer 
uh, I'm amazed I even ran this many tests on this computer as I did because usually I'm on my console playing or watching anime or out shooting my gun, whatever. But yeah, it's good thing 775. I want to thank you folks for watching this video. If you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel for more videos every few days. If you didn't like this video, hit that dislike button and let me know in the comments down below. I do appreciate the criticism. It's good thing 775. I want to thank you folks for watching. Peace out.